Well, um, on so many people's faces right now, what you might be seeing is that of maybe sadness or sorrow. Perhaps if you're someone who's in love with the Nigerian president because he's our leader, we don't feel so well when he's not in the country. My name is Dam Larry Kola, and today on Street Gists, I want to ask Nigerians how much they miss the Nigerian president. How much do they miss our leader? He's not been in the country for some time because he's been sick. Okay, so he's been in the UK um, treating his health and all. So we decide to hit the streets as we always do to ask Nigerians, do you miss the president? Why if you do? Why not if you don't? Well, um, I know a lot of people will be saying we'll ask about the president all the time or as often as possible. Yeah, it's because we have the interests of the president at heart. And at night.com, we'll do our very best to ensure that every Nigerian gets to speak out their minds about the state of the nation especially because they elected the president in the past. So we want to ask Nigerians today this way. Uh, we miss him as a president because uh, no matter what happened, it's the Nigerian people that voted him. So for the fact that we have taken the effort to vote him in there, we we'll care about him because the way the country is now, we don't even know what is happening because the president, there are not every issue that the vice president can take action against uh, for. So based on that now, we are not so happy because the other foreign countries that want to do business with Nigeria, they will be afraid because they don't know maybe tomorrow there may be a change in the policy of the government. Based on that, that's why the country is very instable. So you miss the president? We miss him as a person. My name is August Nemeke Zejuku and like somebody who invests in the capital market. So we miss him because the capital market, the way it is now, is wobbling. There is no clear-cut clear uh, position of the economy now. So we really miss him. And those cabal, that people that are there that want to utilize every opportunity to make money for themselves, they are struggling there. Even the coming election that is at hand now, people are very confused who to present. We don't know whether the president will be available for the next 2019 or someone else. So based on that, there's a lot of dis uh, uh, discordant tones in the country. Okay, so what do you want the president to do as soon as he comes around? Uh, in the first place, the way the recession is going on, the people are hungry where everybody is confused. So he, I wanted to make use of his uh, very good uh, economic team. First of all, we don't have an economic on ground. We know about other political uh, uh, system. They invited technocrats, people who know about how to run the government. They brought them in. Then from the where they are where we are, they all the knowledge they have, they're able to pinpoint exactly how the direction of the economy. Because now, the direction of the economy is not well known. All everything we are hearing is just about uh, propaganda, and which doesn't speak to the common man on ground. Because we are hungry, people are hungry, even the policy of the economy, uh, the agri, the agri policy they say they are doing, we don't see anything on ground. We are just hearing, people are hungry. We need to do something fast before the youth will take uh, arms and then chase the co co people out of that uh, house. Even the members of the Senate, how they go about appropriating money from them, where they don't even care about the, uh, the common man. Initially, we were told that the people in government should be taking at least three uh, escorts. But now you see ordinary minister or any or each, each of those politicians, when they are going, they, clear they, they don't even care about the common man. They can take us as if we are an animal. We don't belong to the side. This is what are the, one of the things we believe that the president will be able to do, to reduce the cost of governance which is still skyrocketing. So if we see that they are really serious, every time they tell us to tighten our bed, are we continue to tighten our bed alone? They should, should show us the way by leading by example. These are the issues that are affecting the common man, and we are very confused. Who do we present again? Because the trust is on this government. The way the, all the goodwill they had before, people are, they are being weaned out. People are not, are not happy again. Who do we present again? We, we are praying that God should help us. Give us a good leader that can think about us and know the situation on ground. Because the youth are not, they are, they are going to be restless. Uh, yes, I, I miss him. Why I miss him that? Because it's God that put him there. And the problem the, we have in this Nigeria is because of um, everything is very wrong. Education follows the part of what is affecting us. I too know that is what is part of, uh, affecting us. And our problem, there's a money in this country. We have many, many resources. And the problem we, ha we have, we don't, we, we don't know how to use it. That's the problem. If they can invite some white man to come and help us to manage the economy, Nigeria will start back again. Are you saying white men should come and manage our economy? No, I didn't say to come and manage, just come and lecture us. White men should come and lecture us? Yes, yes. I think they can do better than us. They, yes, now they can do better than us because 
they, 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 they will let us when they let us we learn from them so you miss the president yes i miss the president i miss the president when he comes what do you want from him uh feeding good luck sha and uh, the th another thing that is affecting nigeria they say too much of bank and it affects it affect people too well, much of waiting bank 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 too much yes it's too much now when somebody have one and put in back the money will not circulated it's part of what is dis uh, uh, disturbing Nigeria economy too. Uh, yeah, we really miss him. Why? Uh, because he has been doing so well, trying to revolutionize things in this country. All I can see is that our prayers, are, our prayers and thoughts are with him. And we want him to come back very soon so that he can continue the good work. Yeah, they said he's coming back very, very soon. Sooner than we anticipated or expected. What are the things you want him to do as soon as he comes back? A lot of things. Especially this corruption uh, issue, he still has a lot of work to do because corruption is trying to fight back, and the war on corruption must be total. And uh, he has to come and finish the the, the, the war on corruption. That's one. Mm. And again, the youth unemployment it keeps surging. Our our youth are roaming the streets looking for jobs. They have to tackle that one too. That's two. Then again. The, we need social infrastructures all over the country. Though they've been working on it, but they still have to do more. No, at all. Why not? I've never voted in my life, and I will never vote. I don't like it. I don't like politics. You don't miss the president? I did not miss him. Why should I miss him? Politics, Nigerian politics has no impact in my life, so I've never voted, and I will never vote. That's all. But the president is not around now. Why don't you miss your president? I don't have to miss him. I've told you. I don't vote. I have never voted since I was born. I have never voted. So, why should I miss the president? Okay, because if you don't vote for him, you don't miss him. No, that's it. Why didn't you vote last time? I don't like politics. You understand? I don't like anything that has to do with politics. I don't do it. I don't like it. But do you like the way the country is? No. I don't like anything about the country. I don't. But what I think um, happened is this. But people don't believe me. It's about all these uh, strange religions that was brought into our country. I was born into a Christian home, but when I needed the truth, I stopped going to church. I'm sorry. Like I said for anybody. So, strangely, the people hide under religion to perpetrate evil. That's what happened. So, where do you now go? I don't go anywhere. I stay in my home. I don't go anywhere. I stay in my home. What strange religion did they bring that you're talking about? I'm talking about strange religion that were, that were brought into our country. You know, there was a, kind of a particular religion that our fathers were practicing. Okay. I think it's better than the other ones. I know it's better than the other ones. Those other ones. I know it's better. Yeah. So that's why you don't vote, you're not bothered about politics in Nigeria, and you're not still happy about the way things are going in Nigeria. I am not, well, I'm a playwright. I've written a play. The, the title of my first play is Alan Terry. It was dedicated to Professor Olusha Inka for his immense contribution to African literature. If you have seen that, then you will know my ideology, my philosophy of life, and some other things like that. Right. Yeah, I missed him, because actually there are some very things that are supposed to have been done by him. That are yet not to be done. There are some bills that he that should have signed, are yet to be signed. At least the whole country missed him. Though he's, since he's ill, there's nothing we can do about it. Just we hope that he comes back to the country healthy and alive. Because even the state of his health, we don't even know about it. The Americans are not willing to give us the information about his health. And even the Senate itself, the House, and they are not they're keeping secrets, which we don't know why. So it's a challenge for the country. The economy is not, if not for the Vice President, I was putting up two together. Well, I, I believe my prize that he just come back to the country alive, healthy, and okay. That's just all. Mm, not really, not really, not really. In as much as um, his vice is performing well, whether he's around or he's not around, I I don't miss him really. The only thing I miss about him is that um, the man, as far as I'm concerned, is a straightforward kind of person. So uh, every other thing, I don't see anything special about the man. Nothing special about the president? Mm, nothing more, except that it's straightforward. Straightforward? Yes. The vice is not straightforward? The vice? The vice is, he is now. No, we are talking about the president now, so that's why I'm talking about him. Okay. Yeah. So he's been away for some time. How does that make you feel as a person that the president has not been around for quite a while? Uh, it makes me, you know, as we are all humans, so when someone is sick, you, you feel for the person. So aside that, nothing else. People have said that it was wrong to have gone to London for medical attention. What do you think about that? Yes. 
considering the amount of money they budget for, um, the, I think they have the ASO clinic there or whatever. So if you budget such amount of money in billions of naira, why can't they get those equipment or probably even get the foreign hand that they need to come and treat the president, you know, just to cut costs? Because you recall that when the president first came in, he auctioned some of the presidential jets. He said they were about maybe seven or more than in the fleet and he sold some of them off trying to cut cost. So why can't you cut cost in terms of healthcare as well? Why do you have to go and start governing the country from outside the country? It doesn't make any sense. Miss him? No. Why? Eh? Why would I miss him? I don't have any reason to miss him. Because he's not my family. He's just the president of this, con the president of this country, Nigeria. And as such, this country is not, things are not going well. Even if, if you were here, there is no difference. So even if it's not here, I'm not missing him. Nothing attached. No strings attached, nothing. But they said you'll be coming back soon. We come back, no problem. When he came back, dollar went up again. Now it's not around, the dollar is, is reduced. It's come down again. So there is no difference whether he's around or not. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean by I missed him. Because even when he's around, uh, I don't see anything good going on. So whether he's around or not, Nigeria is still the same. So what I say in essence? In essence, that if he's not capable of ruling, he just resign and let somebody else take over. You think he's not capable? Uh, uh, it's not okay. Now he's sick. So somebody who is sick cannot do everything as usual. So if he's not, if he's sick and he's not capable, he's not healthy enough to rule, then it's better he resigns. But he has gone for medical treatment and he will soon be back. Uh, this is the second time he's going for medical treatment. This is what the white people can do. If he's a white man, he will simply resign and let another person handle the, the, the seat. So Bottom line is you don't miss our president. Uh, I don't miss our president, let me tell you the truth. Because even when he's around, I don't see anything good going on. So even if, as he's not even around, the government is still going on. That's not fair. Yeah? That's not fair. It's not fair based on what? It's not good now. We should miss your president. <laughs> I don't miss my friend because even when he's around, I didn't see anything good coming he out. Doesn't, he doesn't miss you too, have you? Yeah, he doesn't meet me now because I've not been benefiting anything from this government. You understand? I've not, I've not said that this is what I've benefited from this government. You know, so uh, resection, things are very difficult. People are suffering from hunger. Nothing is going right in this country. So how can I miss my president when things are like this going on in your country? You don't need to miss any of your president with this kind of situation in your country. So I don't miss my president. Not really, sure. Why? Why? I don't feel his present. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, but he's not even around. I'm saying you're not feeling his present. As in, when when he's present, if I don't feel it, so no, we should not talk about when he's not in the country. So you don't miss your present at all. I don't miss him. So, but he said he's coming back soon. What do you want to tell him, or what do you think he should do when he comes back? He should make things better for everybody. Things like what? Things are getting close every day, the situation of Nigeria. So he should like look forward to it and make everything better. Actually, I don't miss him because he, he, <laughs> he's a medium, please. I don't miss him, honestly, because when he was around, there was nothing he has done. So you don't miss him now that he's not around? I don't miss him. I even enjoyed the vice president. I enjoyed him a lot. Because when he comes now, there will be a lot of change again in the country. So let him remember where he is. So the country can balance, stabilize the economic situation and the crisis within the Niger Delta. Because when it was around, there was crisis, it was sending arms, it's to make peace. So I don't miss him for that. So three weeks, you think everything will be better? Everything will be, will be better. It's a growth is a gradual process. So with, with, with time, it's going to stabilize. Then let him just remain where he is. You remain where he is? Yeah. That's not fair. That's my opinion. Uh, yeah, how do I put it? Constitutionally, I miss him. But medically, his attention is needed for that medical. That is, it's needed for that medical. But presently now, you need to go for it as a state of his health. He has of old age. That's, all, that's what I can say. He said he's coming back very soon. Of course. If, uh, the president should be welcome any fucking second, any fucking second time. He's the president of Nigeria. In respect of what people say. In respect of what anybody say in the world. He's the president, my president. He's the head of the state. He's doing a job. What if he die? 
Who, who is the next person to do it? Who, who do we have? Oshibanjo is the acting president. He's doing his best. Should Nigeria should go to war? If Nigeria is saying all sorts of things, let me, let me tell you one thing. Nigeria should be careful. You should go and look at the Rwanda war in the, in the late 80s, 89, 1991. Go and watch the Rwanda war. So Nigeria will learn from Buhari as fighting corruption, irrespective of it. That's a comprehensive talk. Uh, of course, who, who shall miss him? Nobody. Things are hard. Things are hard. Nobody, nobody wants him anymore. Why, why, why do you say that? Uh, no, Nigeria has turned upside down. Really, has turned upside down. Look at the economy. How much do you change the dollar now? How much? Before lock, the dollar was easy to, to get. And also, exchange rate is also very good. But now it's 375 in a, a parallel market. Official market is about 312 or 315. It's bad. You understand? Yeah. So you don't miss the president? I don't miss him. What should we miss him for? Is that president after all? Come again? Is that president after all? Uh, for you. Actually, for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't want him anymore. You need to vote. Go. Come again. You need to vote. I didn't vote. And I will never vote for him. You understand? Good. Ah, I miss how. What do you want me to do for you? Ah, I want, I like to do, I don't like, uh, we give me your shop. Because Wala, we too much for work we do. This is your Loma work. And this is my Loma work. You no pay your money. Four months, I no see your money. They never pay you for four months. You no pay for four months. Who no pay you for four months? I no know. I I go January meet your brother. Brother, we tell. We I no hold your money for us share. Wow. So I don't know the person we hold your money. If you go four months, you know. How much did they pay you in one month? Twelve, twelve thousand. Twelve, twelve thousand nine did they pay in every month? Yes. They never pay you for four months. No pay for four months. If you go hungry, it's too much. No, no, I know it. In the morning food, I know it. Why you know it? No money. Chin right there for house. No food. No anything. No money. Now twelve thousand naira did they pay you every month? Every month. And they never pay you for four months. No for four months. Please, please, you. I know, no, no. As the country is now aware now, because you yeah, see so many things happen now. So many things are difficult now that no change now. Because something very, very hard now. As a boy, you know, there. Something very hard. Now, as a boy, you know, they say, God, something still hard. Do you miss him? I was missing that. Where well, he's a good man, say, boy. Well, he's fight for Colossians. He's fight for Colossians very well. He's very good man. He's fight for many Colossians now. Up to now, as many things say, but now, he's still okay. Like, we are still, uh, still small money to benefit. Uh, he's still okay. Like, we'll face it for that where everything must be okay. Thank you. Baba, the Baba, they don't want to consign us. <laughs> but then we need America, we made the country to go. No man now. She you, you, you know me, Sam? I don't miss Buhari. What do you miss Sam for? <laughs> I don't miss Sam at all. I don't miss Buhari. I don't miss Sam. Why you no go miss your president? Ah. When I'm president, today, what will be my benefit? What are the benefits for? As you know, they are not even going to say best in no day. But they're saying they come back very soon now. What do you want me to do? <laughs> May I come back, oh, if God wish you. May I come back, oh. If you come back, mm. if you still come back, best of luck. I know me, Sam, at all. I've seen come on self. I've seen just travel self. Me, self, I like him. For this in, this in vice way day. Anytime when come out, if that vice don't do, things they better. But anytime when don't come back, you're going to say don't come back, things go change to worst. We are suffering. We are suffering. It's a suffering in this country. Make the man know what he's going to do now. His family miss him. And the country knows what is not around. Because Ubanja is doing much better than him. I you know his family member? Uh, we are all families in Nigeria. So if you, like the Bible said, love your neighbor as yourself. So we are all families. So you miss the president? Uh, we all miss him. You miss the president? Uh, me as a person. <laughs> will I say yes? Will I say no? It's fine, we miss him. 
Okay, so what do you want him to do as soon as he comes back? He said he's coming back soon. What do you want him to do? Uh, look into the issues of the Ninja Delta because they are not being given attention. Like they said, they said all the oil companies should take over their headquarters back to Ninja Delta. But they've not done that. So when he comes back, if he looks into that, and look how dollar can come down a bit for us as businessmen and women so we can do more better business. Thank you very much. Well, this man here says that um, he misses the president because he wants the president to do so many things for us. He also says that we should love our neighbors as ourselves. How many of you out there love the president as much as you love yourself? I love the president. That's why I'm asking a lot of questions about the president on a regular basis. Kudos to everybody who joined us on this live uh, feed. Today, my name remains Damilario Kwala. Big shout out to Emmanuel Sodi, the man behind the camera, and of course, Ndoko Kukwala for coming out for this wonderful job on the street. Until I come your way some other time on the streets, don't forget to keep watching night.com TV, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and on Instagram, and of course, we remain on the streets.